Lakers are 0-4 to start the season and they have been shooting 22% from three. And somehow Rob Palenka still got an extension. So today we're going to be kicking him out of the franchise. We are going to be taking over, filling this team up with shooters and trying to save LeBron's last few years of NBA basketball. So boys, we had to stack the Lakers with shooting. So I took off all these players that you see on the screen from the team. I literally just released them into free agency and I added a bunch of players you guys are going to see right now. Boom, that is the brand new Lakers team. We got Lowry, Desmond Bain, LeBron, Bogdanovich, AD, and then a bunch of shooters on the bench, including Buddy Heald, which the Lakers fans really want and miles turner so i added a bunch of you know players that the lakers are linked with onto one team and today we're going to see what this team does now of course this is not realistic don't get it twisted this is like some harry potter mystical world stuff because rob palinka is not bringing any player in i promise you this man is not signing a single player for the rest of the year and the lakers might not even win 20 games but today for the sake of the simulation we're going to pretend like it's real so guys we're going to give it three seasons to see how many rings lebron can win with shooters around him and we're going to see if shooting fixes the lakers problems throughout the entire season so guys end of season one with the lakers having shooters on their team and luca puts up some very realistic numbers shout out to 2k for letting this man use steroids chet is the rookie of the year drummond is six man Giannis is deep boy kate cunningham is most improved and darvin ham of our lakers is 61 and 21 and he is also the coach of the year so the lakers did improve a lot and we're gonna see what they can do in the playoffs look guys these are the season stats for the players it was honestly pretty even when it comes to the points category everybody put up points they actually had six players i believe in double figures which is pretty impressive and the three-point shooting was good for everybody besides anthony davis obviously you know some people at the end of the bench didn't shoot very well either but anthony davis got to step it up if we want to win a ring here goes nothing all right we are playing the sacramento kings in round one that just shows you how realistic this is the kings made the playoffs after like 346 years so here goes the first round i'm honestly not worried at all all right i'm going to simulate this round if this is not a sweep i'm gonna be very very disappointed and there we go 4-0 sweep I wasn't worried, to be honest, at all. All right, we're going up against the Grizzlies in round two. They got John ja Moran, obviously, you know, Jaron, Steven Adams. Again, we have great shooters around LeBron and AD, so I'm not really too worried about this series either. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and start simulating these games. I'm honestly, you know, um, expecting to win this series pretty easily, and we're actually tied 2-2. We take the lead 3-2. Just finish it off. No game seven. Thank you. We're in the Western Conference Finals against the Pelicans. So the Pelicans, okay, hold on. Wait a minute. They got D-Rose. They got CJ playing point guard, Zion, Jonas, and Ingram. This is actually a pretty good match up against a very young team but lebron and 80 should be able to take care of business all right guys game one of the western conference finals we take that home game two we also take that can we just go up 3-0 and finish this thing off yes we can all right can we sweep on our way to the finals and get a break yes we can there we go old man james is going to be able to take a little bit of a break while this series over here finishes so guys we are playing the chicago bulls in the finals how this team made the finals i have no clue i'm just going to assume demar Derozan turned into 96 mj and led them to the finals but here goes nothing. We are in the finals against the Chicago Bulls. I'm not expecting to lose a single game. There we go. Game one is ours. Game two is ours. And game three is ours. That's pretty much series. So guys, that right there does it. We win in four. That was honestly a very, very easy playoff run. We didn't really have any trouble beating any team. So I mean, I'm not really too worried. And shooting apparently does fix, fix the Lakers. So I mean, who would have thought Rob Palenka get on your game, bro? Come on, go sign some shooters, please. Guys, that is championship number one. We're going to do two more years. We're going to see if LeBron can win a three-peat and maybe take over the amount of rings Jordan has. I'm not really too sure. Either way, though, he gets another finals MVP. No surprise there whatsoever. I mean, who else would deserve it? Hey, who would have known that giving this man LeBron and AD some good three-point shooters would have resulted in a championship? Only all of Lakers Twitter and pretty much all of Twitter everywhere. You know what, man? Shout out to LeBron. Another finals MVP. He shot 42% from three, so I guess the three-point shooting is rubbing off on him as well. Let's get into your number two. So guys, we're on to year two with a very similar roster, apart from the fact that that man Kyle Lowry just retired after that last chip. So that's going to kind of hurt us in the point guard space. Guys, season two, this man Luca is putting up, I mean, steroid numbers. I don't know what else to say. This man is just insane in these simulations every year. Victor Wembat wins rookie of the year. No surprise there. Six man is some random. I don't even know who that is. Of course, the Thunder got some random on their team, though. Depoy Giannis, LaMelo most improved. Coach of the year, Nate McMillan. Let's get into the playoffs and win LeBron another ring. Hey, LeBron also made all NBA first team. It's about damn time. Guys, we shot 38% from three this year. So, I mean, adding three-point shooters is really the key for this Lakers team because everything apart from shooting, they're actually pretty solid at. Also, the player stats. I mean, this man LeBron is doing his thing. AD is kind of struggling a little bit, but I mean, not too bad. It's a pretty balanced team. Buddy Heald, Desmond Bain are definitely coming in clutch. We got Miles Turner off the bench doing pretty good too. So, here goes nothing. Let's jump into the playoffs. 
All right, first round, we are playing this Memphis Grizzly squad who is kind of weak apart from John Moran, so we should be able to take over and win easily. All right, guys, here we go. We're out to 2-0 lead, 3-0 lead. Can we just go ahead and sweep them? No, we cannot. They get one back. Okay, there we go. 4-1. We'll take that. Not too bad at all. So, guys, we are playing the number three seed, Rockets. This man, James Harden, ran from Philadelphia back to Houston. Jalen Green, Kenny Martin, Jabari Smith, and, of course, the Wembat himself. Now, this is going to be an interesting series because that man is, like, eight foot tall. So, here goes nothing. All right, guys, here we go. Game one, we need a bad. There we go. Game two, can we just get out to a strong and commanding lead? Yes, we can. Can we go ahead and just finish the series off? No, they get one back in blood. Game four, we win that. We're up 3-1. That should do it. All right, boys, let's see if we can close out the series. We're actually leading all throughout the fourth, and we win a pretty close one. We will definitely take that. We're on to the Western Conference Finals. I mean, everybody on our team is doing pretty good. Desmond Bain is low-key playing amazing. He's shooting crazy from three as well, but he'll kind of struggle, but... We're in the Western Conference Finals. All right, we are going to be playing the number one seed Minnesota Timberwolves. How did this team get to a one seed? If you guys have watched this team so far this season, they have struggled. And Rudy Gobert just doesn't move me at all. So here goes nothing. All right, guys, they finished with a better record than us in the regular season. But I mean, so did the Hawks back when LeBron, you know, literally swept them. Can we sweep the Timberwolves and basically do the same thing that we did to the Hawks? No, we cannot. Boom. We win in five games. AD is the Western Conference Finals MVP on to the finals. Well, guys, this is a hell of a matchup. We got the Nets against the Lakers. Two stacked super teams. Here goes nothing. Can we win LeBron back-to-back -back rings to, you know, kind of end off his career? All right, game one of the finals. We take that. That is super, super important. Game two. Okay, they get that one back. Game three. They take that, please. This is a must win. Oh my God. LeBron's down 3 1 in the finals again. All right, guys, a must win game. Oh my goodness. We sneak by. We sneak by by three points. AD went crazy, did his thing. Where's LeBron, bro? Hold on. Did LeBron get hurt? No, no way, bro. No, 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 no. Come on, bro. Oh my God, bro. In the finals, this man, LeBron, just ruptured his Achilles. Oh no, bro. This could literally end his career. I'm not going to lie. This could literally end his career. And we're in the finals. Let's see if AD could carry them to a ring. All right, guys, to force game seven, we need to win this game, and it's not looking good at all, man. Listen, we lose by 20. We got 20 popped. I mean, what do you expect when that man LeBron literally tore his Achilles? It's literally not fair. KD is cooking us. DeMarcus Cousins, who literally was on our team last year, just cooked us. Ben Simmons, Kyrie, everybody's doing their thing, bro. Listen, I'm not going to lie. That was a fluke win. LeBron literally went down. He could have had another ring, but unfortunately, Ben Simmons is going to have to have a finals MVP. Oh, my goodness, bro. And guys, this is what I fear, bro. Rupture right Achilles. This man, LeBron, just retired. He gave the sport up. Same year with Chris Paul. Man, listen, this is just a very, very tough scene. You hate to see it. I wish you could, you know, have ended off with the championship. But unfortunately, that's all for the simulation. That's all for this video. All I got to say is shooting does fix the Lakers. So Rob Pelinka, get on the phone and call some shooters right now because this team is suffering. And that man, LeBron, is very close to the end of his career. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It kind of sucks that I had to get cut short because that man LeBron suffered a career-ending injury, but hope you enjoyed it regardless, man. Drop a like. Let me know what videos you're trying to see next. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. We're on the road to 1K subs, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.